hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a square plus a divided by a is equals to 4 and we solve this problem for the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root further we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now we move towards our first method and in first method uh, you see here this a is divided by left hand side when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by this four so when it multiplied by this 4 it will be written as a square plus a is equals to 4 times of a and further uh, for the values of a we need to move this 4a to the left hand side and you see here this is positive 4a when we move it into the left hand side it will become negative 4a and a, it will be written as minus 4 times of a and this whole equation is equals to 0. And further in the next step here uh, you see that we have 4 minus a minus 4a these are the two same variable terms so we need to uh, subtract the coefficients of these two equations so after subtraction of these two values we will get here minus 3a and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here you see that both of these two terms involve a so uh, we need to take common a from here so when we take common a from here we get the remaining values are from here we get a only and from here uh, we get 3 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and further in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write a minus 3 is equals to 0 so we give, we convert our equation into that these two cases and here you see that this is the first root of the given equation uh, and from here we get the second root so that we move this minus 3 to the right hand side and it will be written as a is equals to plus 3. So these are the two roots which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is these roots are a solution of this equation or is these roots are extraneous root. So further uh, uh, we uh, just we solve this problem for second method and at the last I, uh, we will verify these roots okay uh, so uh, here uh, in second method we need to copy down given question statement here it is a square plus a divided by a is equals to 4 this is the our given question statement and in the second method I can give you another smart test technique uh, in which you can easily get the values of a so here uh, in this method we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as a square divided by a plus here when we break this fraction it will becomes a divided by a is equals to 4 and, and now here in the next step uh, we have this a and this a are cancelled out by each other and we will get here a only and plus from here you see that this a and this a are also cancelled out by each other and we will get here 1 is equals to 4. So here in the next step we move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will be written as a is equals to this is plus 1 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes minus 1 uh, and uh, this implies that we have our a is equals to this is 4 minus 1 and we know that 4 minus 1 becomes here 3 so in the second method you see here we will get here only one value of a and that is 3 so from first method we will get here two roots that is a is equals to 0 and 3 and in second method we will get here only one root and now uh, here we have time to verify these roots and we will check that uh, which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root so for verification of the roots we need to copy down given question statement here and it is a square plus a divided by a is equals to 4 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 3 so here uh, 
first we verify a is equals to 0 so for this we substitute a is equals to 0 into the left hand side and it will be written as when you put it here it will become 0 square plus 0 divided by 0 is equals to 4 and we know that 0 square becomes 0 and 0 plus 0 becomes 0 and you get 0 divided by 0 is equals to 4. So 0 divided by 0 simply means that it is the indeterminate form. Mm, it is indeterminate form okay or in other words uh, we say that it is uh, undefined form. So if 0 over 0 uh, be the our uh, undefined form so if a left hand side uh, is undefined it means that both of the sides are not equal so if both of the sides are not equal this means that a is equal to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so we call a is equal to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay this is the final conclusion about the root a is equal to 0 and now here we need to substitute the second root here and now when you put this value uh, into the left hand side and it will becomes 3 square plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to 4 and 3 square becomes 9 plus 3 divided by 3 is equals to 4 and, and we know about that 9 plus 3 becomes 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4 and this is 3 times 4 becomes 12 and we get 4 is equals to 4. So this shows that the value of a is equals to 3 is satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so we finally conclude about the solution set of the given question is that a is equals to 3. So this is the solution set and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.